many years of nurturing a dream to perform music professionally and having gone through the rigors of studying music in a formal environment, Tolani Otedola finally announced her arrival to the music scene late last year with a showcase event in Lega, Southwest Nigeria. I always wanted to be a musician. From when I was a kid, I was really into music. Uh, I was uh, in all the choirs that existed. So I was always very musical. I always used to write and I was very artistic. I always was on stage and stuff. So I think after I did, after edu you know, education is important to Nigerian parents. So <laughs> after I did all my education, boarding school, university, masters, I finally went to music school. I think it was at that point that I had made the decision that I was gonna, I already knew before that, but once all the educa formal education was over, I could really dedicate myself to full-time music. A pretty much successful showing. Tolani, the first of three daughters of Nigerian oil magnate Femi Otedola, had to face initial resistance from her parents as per her musical aspirations. During the period of trying to convince her parents, she fortified herself with seeking the conventional educational backup onto the master's level. At the time, the Nigerian music industry is still pretty young. So it's not, compared to the rest of the world, here, I think that maybe the older generation weren't always sure that music could be a lucrative and sustainable life choice. You know what I mean? So there was a bit of resistance. But that being said, like I said, it was a case of, okay, go and get your education because you might need something to fall back on, which I think is smart, is wise, to have something that in case an artistic venture doesn't work out, you can go get a 9 to 5 and you can feed yourself. You know what I mean? During this time, her sister Florence, popularly known as DJ Copy, had also picked up musical interest and found expression in her own way. We're very supportive of each other. We're very, I don't know, I think my, my dad is like, you know, what have I done to have like a hundred artistic children? But it's, I guess when something run, is in the family, it's in the family. So her success was definitely good to see. You know, I'm very proud of her. I'm very impressed with how far she's come. Although born in Lagos, Tolani grew up in London, which is a top creative hub in Europe with a well-defined music, movies and creative arts industry. She has, however, strategically decided to push her music from Nigeria. Well, one thing was timing. I feel that timing is everything. And the Afrobeats movement, I feel at the moment, is not only Nigerian. Afrobeats music is making a lot of noise all over the world, and particularly in London, where I live. Um, so it wasn't a, oh, I'm going to go back to Nigeria and start from there. It was more of, I'm going to do Afrobeats music, so where is the hub of Afrobeats music? And it's here. So I think it was just a case of you needed to go to the place where the music originated. But I still very much work in London. I do shows in London because Afrobeats is big in England. So it doesn't really feel like I made a massive jump, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? And I feel that as a Nigerian person, that is in my music. So even in the UK, when I sing, I sing with a slightly Nigerian accent compared to some of my contemporaries. So I think that I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't feel as if I've left England. I've just, I'm concentrating on Afrobeats at the moment and this is where it, it's at, you know? Official debut single Tenderoni features a former Empire Mate Entertainment act Scales. The track follows a theme she enjoyed during her earliest exposure to music.
<laughs> and a lot of people ask me, what on earth is tenderoni? So it's, it's like a pet name. Like, you know, I feel like in Nigeria, we love pet names for our other half, sweet potato, sugar banana. It's kind of in that kind of field of pet names. So tenderoni is like a term from the 80s. I think Michael Jackson had it in a song, Bobby Brown. It's an old school term that means, you know, my loved one. I love, I love um, old school music. I grew up around a lot of music. So some of these older sounds are stuff that I remember. And even as an adult, I look back to, you know what I mean? This is the opening chapter in the career of the young music enthusiast and already tongues are wagging about her ability to compete or not with local talent and handle siblings rivalry with sister Cuppy. She's however refusing to allow these side comments get to her as she remains focused on her main objective. Everybody has an opinion and I think that's the first step to being able to deal with opinions is to recognize what it is. It's an opinion. It doesn't have to be true, it doesn't have to be false, the person is entitled to what they think. So I think I'm ready because I'm not, I don't get bogged down in what people think. Do you know, I just, it doesn't, I have a goal, eyes on the prize, and I just focus on what I want to do and what I want to achieve. And for everybody that has a negative opinion, some, there's somebody out there that has a positive one. So you just try and look to the good and focus on what you want to achieve in life. You wanna